I'm still really on the fence on exactly what I want to do here. We have most of my military along the border with Russia. This is the big war everybody's been waiting for, but my economy is just is just slowly coming to a screeching halt and I can't upgrade my units to the modern era. I mean, this is looking like it's going to be the biggest war I've I've had in Civ 6 in a really long time. Not necessarily the biggest in terms of like military strengths going at it. I I just mean the biggest is like most significant. Uh, Russia has been constantly the biggest threat to my empire from the very beginning of the series. I've just never had one single enemy stay along throughout an entire series and then we finally go at it at the end here. So what I'm thinking here is we might be able to go to war with Russia now. If it's successful or if it isn't, or if it's moderately successful, we could declare a second war within the modern era. I was really surprised at how far away we are from uh, from modern uh, ideologies, so totalitarianism, suffrage, um, or, or, or class struggle, these civics here, we're pretty far away. We have some time, so, uh, and luckily I've boosted a lot of this stuff, even though my, my culture sucks, we are able to zoom through a lot of it. Uh, we just need to keep boosting this stuff as we go further along. So that might be the case. We might go to war with Russia and just try to do as much damage as possible, try to adjust the, you know, address the situation. It doesn't seem like it'd be a very successful war on our part, but uh, declare a war now or you know, within this video and then uh, peace out eventually, see where it is, see what we need to work on, and then declare another war, a second bigger war, uh, when we have probably more of a mil uh, probably more of an air force, I mean. So uh, let's go to the next turn and uh, and see what happens. I'm looking around my empire and I don't think there's gonna be much we can do to help out the uh, the economy besides building banks and things like that uh, or trading but people don't like me very much so I'm not surprised at that that people don't really want to trade with me. There's there's several units I still need to upgrade. I'd like to have them upgraded. Let's see 20 gold per turn isn't horrible uh, especially with 50% discount. Oh come at me. Come at me bro. That's fine. Speak of the devil. Because if, I mean, if he declares war on me, then there's nothing else I can do about it. But he's not going to do it. Uh, I'm currently leading in military strength. Uh, actually, well, he just barely. Japan had a bigger mil- Oh my gosh, they lost their entire military. Japan's at war with somebody. Holy crap, Victoria's at 2,000. Spain's at 1,000. I didn't realize this. That makes things a lot different. I had no idea they're that threatening. Um, you know, I haven't checked on this. Let's go ahead and check what- how many cities does Victoria have? Did she make it to the New World? We're about to find out right now. It's fair to say she probably did. She had to have. And there's no way she settled these cities in the British Isles. So she probably did. We don't know exactly where she went. North America or South America. Uh, I do also want to check to see if Norway made it as well. It'd be kind of interesting. Probably. He probably settled a few cities. I'm assuming Japan did, but they're losing a, a war. Do we know who? No, we don't know who they lost a war to, but... They've got several cities, so I guarantee you they probably are the biggest colonizer. That's That tends to be, especially on this map, they tend to do really well. Either way, uh, this is our biggest rival, and uh, I'm not really worried about anybody else right now. What do you need? Do you need to be next to the Natural Wonder? What, do you, what are you? Can you tell me what you need? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll worry about you later. It's fine. Oh, you know, I need to repair... I need to use this builder to repair those tiles, those sugar tiles. I mean, at least we have, uh, at least we have artillery. So if we were to, if we would be, if we could just get to a city, we could do a lot of damage to it. But I don't know if we'd get to it. Also, these battleships will help out a lot. So I need to wait at least three turns. What do you need again? I didn't read it. I always do that. Um, all right, then just chill for a second. Oh, you have to leave. All right, well, I'll send you down here. Here we go. Uh, 400 science for each reinforced tile. You have, oh my god, we have no reinforced. There is no reinforced here. Should have skipped this one. I might be able to squeeze down. I might try it. That's risky. But uh, there's got to be a reinforced in Africa somewhere. There's nothing in Europe, that's for sure. I mean, there would be a suggestion if there was, but there there isn't. Bunch of uh, religious battles taking place right now. There isn't much we can do in terms of religion unless we wanted to destroy France. That's the only thing we really can do. Who, who's leading with their religion, by the way? Uh, don't I have a ton of faith? I do have a ton of faith. I could probably purchase a great person. Oh, yeah, I can. Wait a second. Okay, so we have to ignore this. We figured he was going to say this. I have to ignore it because I, 
I don't know what else to do. Uh, amenity for this city plus one. Increases trade route. Okay, this is what I think I want to buy. Tourism rate towards other civilizations you have. Oh, that sucks. Increase the trade route capacity by one. 25% tourism. I would take the tourism. I mean, I would take the extra trade route. I guess. And we don't need any of this stuff. This is the only, oh, this is the only thing I can get, Drew. You can't get the engineer. All right, just, just get him then. I, I don't see why not. And, uh, and then I'll just slap you down right there. Or can we not? Do you have to wait? Okay, I guess I have to wait. Well, either way, at least I got it. So let's do a stock exchange. Oh, your housing is pretty low, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Back down to 8.9, or 8.1, because I, I built a cavalry unit. So what, what is your, my infantry? My infantry is at 70. I don't see their Cossacks. Maybe they got rid of them, ideally. Maybe they, they lost them in a war. It's possible. Yeah, I need to start trading with Rome, I think. We get production back still, so that's not horrible. That's not a horrible thing. If I start combining my cavalry unit, they'll have a little bit better of a chance. If we make a core unit, maybe I should do that. I'm going to do it. it also save us on maintenance, won't it? Oh, that's a pretty good idea, actually. Now that I think about it, um, I could combine a field gun. I could... Oh, here we go. I think I might do that, too. Oh, these field guns are pretty much going to be useless, I think, in this battle. I mean, I think that I'll still use them, but... Who has more? I guess you both have two promotions, so I guess it doesn't matter. All right, so you know, I'm going to start combining. Let's get some gold back. I don't want to combine my infantry. I don't think that's a good idea. Combining cavalry, cal cavalry, cavalry. I can say it. I can say it, I swear. Uh, well, I think I think that's an okay idea. Oh, I guess that was my only cav unit. Uh, no, I've got one up here, and I could upgrade him if I really wanted to. I don't know though. So 62. I mean, what is 60? I don't even see a Russian unit here. They have a uh, a crossbowman, which is a good good sign. So what what are you sitting at now? 72. Maybe we can get you to compete. Uh, okay, let's wait to the next. Let's wait to the next turn. Can I even create armies right now? I'm pretty sure I can. I just, I want to boost the civic too. So I, that's why I'm also leaning this way. To, to pushing myself to do this. Um, I could make a... A field gun army. No. Now, I just talked about in the last video, too. I said, attacking Russia, I don't think you want better quality units. You want... Uh, you want just a lot of units. And, uh, and I'm basically just referring to World War II there. Pretty sure Germany had a much, much better quality units. But, uh, obviously, Russia had a ton of units ton of people, army, militaries. Let's, uh... Yeah, we're not doing good amenity-wise. Let's go ahead and do that. It's because I removed the, uh, the garrison bonus. Which was, was still worth it. Okay, here we go. I think I should get one of these out. Hey, you've got some pretty good production down here. Okay, well, let's, let's get this, because I, I know I need to extract a... We might as well get one of those. Um, granary for the housing, even though housing-wise you're doing just fine. Oh, I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can make armies just yet. Okay, well, I've got one here. Um, as I said, I... We don't have enough money to upgrade to infantry just yet. How much is that? Is that expensive? 145? It, technically, it's not that expensive. Yeah, again, I don't, I don't want to use up the melee units, I don't think. Although, we don't need four. Four infantry is kind of a lot. We could probably make one army. Or, I'm sorry, one core unit. These are the other things I want to upgrade. Is uh, the frigates to battleships. That's only 115, Drew. I think you should do it. Alright, we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do that there. Come at me, please. If you just declare the war on me, I don't have to feel bad for, for you know, like... I don't know when I want to declare the war, is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, if you just declare war on me, then it's like, well, I've got no other choice. I've got to go to war with you now. Okay, you come over here. 
All right, we're good. Do I want to improve some of these fish tiles? I haven't even think of, I haven't really been thinking about my fish tiles at all. I guess so. You've got three builds. Go for it, little buddy. You do your thing. You do your thing. 27 gold per turn. Bank will help soon. Uh, is my capital lacking amenities? Kind of. It's lacking housing, too. So here comes battleships. I think, obviously, we need to wait a few more turns. A handful of more turns. Extra trade route is actually going to help out a lot. Can I get a friend? Can someone not hate me for being a warmonger, please? That would be great. I'm kind of worried about England. Since they've got twice the military as I do. Marble. Yeah, that's kind of actually a good deal. Don't I only have one resource of coal? I do have multiple coal. You know, I'll I'll give that to you. Can I get some gold? You don't have a gold per turn. Alright, fine. Just take it. Yeah, just take it. Well, I'm working on my military a lot right now, so... Even if they think they can come after us... Berlin is actually in a good position to defend, even without any units here. And I can send over cav units if I need to, but... it's That was a good position for the encampment. It's not coastal. So it's not too bad. Okay. Receive 50 gold per peel tile when replacing a farm with a neighborhood district. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. But, um... No, 100% gold yield. I wouldn't mind this. We might need to do this. Unit maintenance reduced. I need that. I need this. Maybe for a little bit, go with this instead. Just to get some extra gold. Anything, really. Alright, let's see where that goes to. Come on, baby. Oh, gosh, that was great. Whoa, 56. Perfect. I was actually just hoping for 40, but uh, I'll take I'll take 50. Okay, so what do we need? Mass media research radio. Have three core units. Oh, three core units. Oh, jeez. I don't know about all that. That's a little crazy. Actually, we can do that. I was talking about... Oh, my gosh. Stock exchange would give us 14 gold per turn. All right. We're going to do this, baby. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make that so we boost mobilization. Uh, I'll build the bank. Okay, so the economy is going to start really booming again. Uh, so I'll upgrade. I also get tanks soon. I can get tanks so I can upgrade these cal cav units. 40 gold per turn. All right, and then I can upgrade all the, all the units in the Black Sea. There we go. There we go. The battleships are coming. I've got one battleship here and another one here. That'll be big, again, to protect us from England. I didn't even realize that was an issue. But uh, if England does come after us, I can send those battleships over there as soon as possible. So that'll be pretty important. Alright, how, how good is the Congo at now? 61, 45, 46, 46. Ooh, Rome's doing pretty good. I'm having a great, I'm having a blast with this campaign. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but this, this campaign has been... It feels me. If, it feels like the old Civ uh, Five days. Just a huge map, so much going on. Oh, man, this is a really fun series. I, I really enjoy this one. Do you need the housing? Oh yes, you do, Lublin. Of course you do. Um, yeah, let's replace that. There we go. Six housing, three yields. Th yeah, definitely. Okay, so I guess we'll keep you. We'll put you there a little bit closer to Russia. Fifty-five gold per turn. I'll repair this. Maybe even get a deal out of it from somebody. I don't know if a... Uh, please give me a rainforest somewhere. Oh, salt. I don't think anyone has salt. Maybe Russia has salt. I think they're feeling a little salty right now. Because uh, I'm along their border ready to kill them. I don't think... We're not going to get any, I think, uh, any planes before this war. Maybe in the middle of the war. But uh, I don't think so. Which could make the difference, honestly. The planes, because they don't have anything. What's my bonus over them in terms of tech? 43, 45. I'm, I've been two techs ahead of them for a while. And uh, I'm actually going to slow down a little bit on my research because I've, I've switched around my policies. I caught up because I was doing a lot of adjacency and campus bonuses. Things like that. Policies like that. Housing and amenities. All right. Um, so, yeah. I think I want this tanks extract dang I'm not gonna be able to boost that am I I don't think so when does this come out seven turns damn all right well there's nothing we can do about that um, it's cheaper if we were to do the battleship now let's 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 upgrade this guy 
290 to upgrade these. Oh, damn. That's, uh, that's pretty expensive, yo. That's pretty expensive. Well, here we go. I can upgrade this guy. Boom. Stock exchange. That's a lot of money. So I kind of want to do it just for that money. What else do we have? Is there anything else that I need to improve down here? I've been improving a lot of this stuff, I feel like. Most of these tiles are improved. I don't think anything's pillaged. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something that I've been missing for a really long time that I haven't uh, technically improved. This antiquity site. Let's let's just go here, because so much of, of German territory hasn't been uh, improved, so I'll do that. I'm imagining South Africa will... Oh, there's Egypt. Egypt is in the game. That's surprising. Uh, kind of unfortunate that I wasn't able to really see the new world. At least not yet. I might eventually see the new world, but... That kind of sucks. I haven't been able to see it. It's, you know, turned 66. I just know that Japan's obviously doing well. Nope, get out of here. Don't give me that gift stuff. Can someone like me, Cleopatra? Can you like me, please? How many how many more people are there still that I need to meet? One, two, and they don't seem to be doing very well. Maybe they will. I don't know. Maybe they'll be scared. I met Spain, met France, made Rome. I met everyone in Europe. It's China. It's got to be China, and I think Australia who's in this campaign. I think it's got to be those. Yeah, you need a neighborhood, too, and you can build it in five turns. Man, this city is amazing. Uh, production wise. Yeah, we want it to keep growing. I don't. Ah, damn, this is gonna suck. I've gotta do it though. I might as well get the most housing out of it. That's a lot of food to, re to be replacing, but I'd rather replace food than its production. Alright, let's do it. Let's get less food. And uh, I'll repair that. Let's. Let's keep getting the gold, baby. And you still get hammers out of it, so I can't complain. I can't complain it that, that much. We only need this gold for a little bit. Yeah, we only need this gold to upgrade, and then we can move on. I don't think we're going to declare the war on, on Russia yet. Yeah, let's keep going to Rome. That's kind of scary, though. But they're the only ones that's giving me 13 gold per turn. I don't know where... I don't know what England's got going on. We should probably get up an embassy with them or something. Or discover them with a builder. I don't know. Either way. Their capital might offer us something. You know, I could for sure find uh, rainforests in, in South America. I just don't know if I want to go all the way down there. 14 gold per turn. That is close to working. 24 gold per turn. How about this? How about we go with one? That's a little bit more fair. Can we do seven? Not even seven. Five. All right, never mind. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. It's fine. Okay, so uh, I will upgrade all my troops in the next video. It looks like we'll be declaring war on Russia. Uh, things are going to get pretty intense. We'll have... You know what? I will upgrade my battleship right now. So there's one, two, three. This battleship, I could technically go after this city. And I can obviously help with Kazan. Uh, I'll probably have to sit here and defend for a little bit. Dang, this is crazy. This front is uh, is pretty insane. Just looking at all these units along the Russian border. This is fun. Um, Alright, so let's... We want to get to ideology as soon as possible. So I'm going to need to research this. Uh, I guess we'll go after this. Why not? Unit maintenance reduced by two. Oh my gosh. Okay, so gold's going to be fine. Gold's going to be fine. All right. And then we upgrade everyone to tanks. Here we go. We'll see what happens in the next video. I'm really excited for this war, and I think there's definitely an opportunity for us to declare war on Peter twice. So if this first one doesn't go very well, we can wait and then try it again later. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.